today we're going to be tying a CDC blue winged olive. Here's a picture of what the insect looks like. Uh, it's a type of mayfly, one of the first hatches in the spring. It often has a green tinged body. Um, what we're trying to copy with this fly that we're going to be tying here today is the large upright wing the slightly green tinged body, and of course that long forked tail. Today I'm going to be tying it on a size 16 dry fly hook, uh, but here in Wyoming uh, the first hatch are often really tiny flies, often a size 20 or 22. I'm also using some uh, green olive thread and some monofilament fibers here uh, for the tail of our blue winged olive. So I'm just going to take a few wraps to get those on the hook and then I can pull them forward. What I'm looking for is a length about hook shank in length. Then I take a wrap under the filaments to kind of prop them up. And that wrap under also helps splay those out. If they don't spell out exactly, you can always just kind of adjust them with your fingers and then just tighten them down to keep them locked in position. I'm going to go ahead and trim off the extra here and finish binding those down. Next, we're going to be adding on the, uh, some olive dubbing here as the body of our fly. So I'm going to start off with a thin dubbing noodle, slowly building up taper uh, from the back of the fly, working our way forward. We're going to keep going forward uh, about two thirds of the way up the hook shank. Where here I have a peacock curl, single peacock curl I'm going to tie in. And wrapping that with the shiny side facing out and taking wraps upwards towards the eye of the hook leaving just a small gap right before the eye or we'll tie in our wing so you can just break that peacock off after you finish tying it down ending with your line right behind the eye Next I'm going to take three or four, uh, these are natural dun colored CDC fibers. I have them grabbed up at the tip and I'm just stroking the longer fibers backwards, keeping the shorter fibers up at the top, which I'm going to clip off. And then after I've clipped those off, I'm going to pull those longer CDC fibers back forward again as you can see and then holding the CDC fibers there by the stems I'm going to use a pinch wrap to place on top of the hook and take two fairly tight wraps to bind those down now what I'm going to do is pull back on the CDC fibers till I can fill a bump which means we've gone over the stem, now I'm going to take a few wraps in front, front of the CDC to prop up those fibers for our wing. After you got those 
nice and propped up. I'm gonna take a few more reps here. After you've got those propped up, you can go ahead and whip finish your fly. And then we'll finish shaping the wing afterward. Go ahead and trim off that thread. I'm gonna take my CDC feathers like this and make a diagonal cut down towards the body. To start forming our wing. Didn't do a very good job there, so I'm gonna need to do a little extra trimming. for that tall wing profile. There, and that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of head cement here. And here's what it, our finished fly looks like. Floats really well, and it's one of my favorite flies to tie for early spring hatches. Thanks for watching.